we need a tall. Can we get a tall man? Mr. Stay, you take the bishop round. Okay. The tall. Take okay. the tall. Okay. So this is the chapel of the sisters, the family, yeah. of the sacred heart of Jesus in the market of Mary. Welcoming in a very special way, the Slashi, the Most Reverend Joseph Pfeiffer, SPS MG, MG, MC, Marian Cor. Marian Cor. And for the Francesco Mbadwa in the chapel after Sext. And these are the young men who intends to try a vacation in the traditional seminary. We have the four newly postulants who received their habits yesterday and the newly the new sister for the novitiate has begun a novitiate in earnest. We have some aspirants at the back too who are trying their vocation too. So this is the chapel, the main chapel for now. We are managing this for now. It's a makeshift chapel. Okay. Very good. So we can. You want to begin here, sister? Okay. Okay. Then, then we go on with the sister. The sister will now take his lordship around the facility. Let me see that. He put this away here. Yeah. The sisters intend to have a bigger chapel if they can get this property. For now, this is just a makeshift chapel. They can just house just. 50 people. Okay. Yes. Yes. 50, yeah. <laughs> Very well packed. Mm. Packed. in. Yes. Okay. The sister will not take his lordship around the property. Okay. Just if you can pay it. Okay, then, sister, yeah. you can give the explanation of the uh, a little convent here. We started, you started one year ago, is that right, sister? Yes, my lord. We started, I started last year in August. Right. Yes. And your name, sister? My old name mm -hmm. is Sister Linda Marie Nijoko. Mm -hmm. Then my new religious name is Mary Teresa of Jesus Crucified. Right. Here we go. So Sister Mary Teresa of Jesus Crucified. And now you've been here now for the last year. And if you can just give an explanation of the the dual tour of the convent, an explanation of the chooks and everything, okay, like you did before. Okay. Very good. Well, like Father Elia said, we have the chapel where we pray. We pray. Uh, we have four times of prayers. We pray the prime mm -hmm. in the morning, sext in the afternoon, then one hour of adoration and rosary prayer in the evening, then compliance. Right. At night. night. Yeah. And the mass is usually in the morning, yes. but sometimes in the afternoon. In the, yes, in the evening. Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, we have the masses in the evening. Mm -hmm. Then Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, Sunday, we have the masses in the morning. Okay, right. yes. okay very good. And they can explain the place. Yes, time. we have this passage due to how little the place is and we are managing for now. This is our refectory. We, the sisters eat here. And then this little place. Yeah, the, we, the, the sacristy. Yeah. Yes, like a little sacristy where we keep the vestments and the linens and the little cupboard for the books that we use for the altar. Mm -hmm. Very good. We have here like a little dormitory that contains three sisters demarcated with curtains. Room one. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Room two. Yeah. Okay. And room three. This thing. Okay. Okay. Stuck. Okay. Over here. 
And we have the little sewing machine that we use in sewing our clothes and amending the little, little things that we need to. And we can't forget the kids in the room. It's very important. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the second little dormitory too. This has two rooms. And the second room. And you up high also? Yeah. Right. Okay. And right. we use also this like a little where we keep the books that we use for study and reading. Yeah. And due to the small accommodation, things we use in the house that we don't have place to keep them in a the way they are also here. So we use here like a room and a little store. Yeah, yes, and our computer. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. All right. And also, we can stand on the camera. Too. Yeah. And this is the little kitchen we manage for now. Yeah. And make sure you get sister in the picture there, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 So we have all the kitchen. So. Mm -hmm. And then back to this way. Yeah. This, you go this way. We go this way? Yes. 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 And this is the back corridor. Okay. Yes, where we have our laundry and dry our clothes. Chapel. Good, and you got the holy garden. Yeah. Yes, and we have a little garden here that will plant uh, maize and beans. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And there are some of your the maizes. Yes. So, uh, These are the, the produce of last LEDC. I know, yeah. Yes. We cultivated these ones in April and we harvested them last month. Okay. Wow. Very good. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. 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 This also is not only used for garden. This side we plant vegetables. Plant vegetables here like ugu, okra, spinach that we use for cooking soup. Okay. Yes. And here is also maize. Yeah. Yeah, the corn. Mm -hmm. Corn. Okay, corn and granite. Yes. Okay. And, uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is also tomatoes. <laughs> there we have. Wow, the chickens are running away. <laughs> Please don't be scared. Uh -huh. They are here to teach you. So we have little poultry here. Yeah. This are uh, four weeks old chickens. And you can face and explain the camera. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're explaining your life with the chickens. Huh? Phase one, phase two, phase yeah, three. This is the first. Um, second phase two of the chickens, okay. they are four weeks old. So, this is the phase two of the chickens. Mm -hmm. Yes, by law. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so about how many chickens do you have, sister? Hmm. Well, now we have um, 330 chickens. Yes. Here is 200. And then we have 100 for the uh, two days old and 30 for six weeks old. And this is also another garden, little garden, where we also plant corn, maize, and beans as well. And they are Yes, a few okras too, vegetables. We have another one here for tomatoes. We just harvested the corn here. Yesterday, no, Saturday. So there was one here for you, and we have tomato farm here too. So these are the tomato farm where we cultivate tomatoes and get tomatoes for the daily foods that we cook. Okay. <laughs> How long does it last, you sister? Huh? How long is your food? How much? How much can you? How much of your food do you eat from the garden, and how much do you have to buy from the market? Hmm. Well, for the ones we cultivated, we started harvesting them last month. Right. So from last month, like um, the maize we have, after harvesting last month, we grinded some, and it took us till Friday. So since last month till Friday, we. We don't buy maize from the market. Oh, we good. consume our produce. And since we have the tomatoes too, since two weeks ago, we've not been buying tomatoes. We and use that, tomatoes from the house. And that will last you another month, maybe? Yes. Right. Like the, some of the ones we harvested earlier, they are still there. They will last us a month. Before those ones finish, we'll still have from here again. And we also hope to recultivate again. Once these ones are harvested, we'll still reuse the land again so that around September, October, November will also be having tomatoes mm -hmm. and will not buy also from the market. <laughs> and here walking to the market, how long does that take, sister? Well, to or the you market, take the bike? Hmm? We go with a motorbike. Yeah, the motorbike. Yes. yes, it's about 10 15 minutes. Okay. building <coughs> we have here like the palo and the store mm -hmm. here we store the food the feeds for the chicken and the sawdust mm -hmm. the working and the sisters working preparing for lunch oh. <laughs> what are they having for lunch <laughs> Nigerian food. <laughs> Nigerian food. Yeah. What is it called? What is it called? Apple. 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 Uh, okay, apple. Okay. Is it good and good for you? Mm. <laughs> what are you pounding there, sister? Abono. Abono. You want to cook abono soup? Yes. Okay, abono apple soup and apple. And there is the, the kitchen, right? Yeah. Yes. When they say it's not apple. Apple is um is gotten from cassava. Okay. Yes. It's a fermented cassava. You soak in the water for like three, four days. Yeah. Then you wash it with a sieve. Mm. Then you allow it to settle, sieve the water, put it in a sack. It, the water comes out and the contents remain in the sack like this. Okay. Okay. Like yeah. 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 And you can cook it and eat it like um, semo, okay. uh, wheat, yeah. you eat it with soup. Yeah. Those are, this is a bit stronger than wheat and semo, but it's, it's um, milkish in color. Oh, yeah, okay. yes. <laughs> and then you have your soup. Yes. Then mm -hmm. Ogono is a mango bush or bush mango. Right. Yes, we use it for cooking of soup here. Yeah, it's a delicacy here in Nigeria. That almost all the parts of Nigeria know and eat. Right. Very good. 
good. Yeah, chicken. Then these are some of the produce of our tomatoes we harvested. Okay. okay. Tomato. Yes, we have harvested them green so that as time goes, they will be getting ripe on their own so okay. that it will last all... longer. Okay. But if we harvest them right from the farm, they will not stay longer. Yeah, to spoil. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then this is the phase one of the chicken. Okay. Uh, they're very delicate at this moment. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. These are three days old. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. As mm -hmm. they are now, they are free, they are not cold. That is why they are moving around. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, in the morning and in the evening, when the weather is usually calm, they feel cold and they come together, accumulate in one place. Mm -hmm. So, we need to set a fire for them to keep the room warm. Okay. Then they, when they are warm, they move yeah. about it and they I are think happy. That's the light there. Lights. Mm -hmm. For the warm, for the warmth, the light there. Yes. Yeah. We, okay. Okay. We and you have a fire. Right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Yes. And then phase two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> phase three. Phase three. Yeah. Yes, we have the phase three, three. here. Okay. Okay. Three phase three. Where are we going? Okay. These are five weeks old. Yeah. Five weeks old. Yes, these are five weeks old. Okay. And okay. as they are, mm -hmm. they are a bit, mm -hmm. a bit mm -hmm. stronger mm -hmm. now. <laughs> they can yeah. stay on their own. Yeah. Yeah. So what we usually do is make sure they have food and water and light at night. And then at seven weeks. Seven, eight weeks. You send them to chicken them. heaven. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes. And it's time for them to go to chicken heaven. <laughs> yes. Yes. And, you so, see, yes. and you say you get about... Uh, these thousand. are 30. Oh, yeah. And we sell them at 6, 7, uh, seven 8 weeks at 2,000, 2,500 naira. Wow. Yes. So these are 30. They are 30 in numbers. So in the next, next week or two weeks, they will be ready for sale. Yes, and then you bring the other ones over. And phase one, phase two, and phase three, yeah. 330 chickens right now. Very <laughs> <laughs> good, post. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to get the stove. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We need yeah. to open, the, we need to see the food. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> see if it's edible. So what do we have in there? Mm. Okay. It's a mystery. Mm. Yes. Okay, oil. Oil and water. This is the oil. Tomatoes. What do we have in here? This one is water for abu. Ah yes. And when do you put your abu in the house? What is that? Obono. Okay, this is obono. Yes. Obono. Okay. This is a grinded grinded one. Okay. Okay. Is it ready to eat? No. Okay. Yes. We have another room here. Yeah. Which one? This is the bishop's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, here. You see. Red pork is here. So we this is the. To... This is the bishop's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very good. <laughs> you want to rear? Turkeys. Okay. Oh, the turkeys. Turkeys. They have turkeys. So we are hoping that. Next week or two weeks from now, mm -hmm. they will we'll have them. Mm -hmm. And the turkey is a little more expensive, but you will try to get them and be able to raise the turkeys. Yes. yes. So the, the turkeys are 2,500 2, for, for the baby. For a day old. Wow. Yes. Whereas the chickens are. Well, the chickens, we buy them in carton. So okay. we pay per carton, and a carton is 50. So we buy cotton, 15,000, 16,000. Okay. Right. Yes. Right. So then, yeah, so and then for 100. No, for 50. Mm. 50, okay. Yeah. Very good. Mm. And then the guest house. Mm. This is like the guest this house. This is where it goes. The guest room. Oh, you yes. Oh, well, we'll see the bedroom, sister. Okay. This is the guest bedroom with the eight, 
Your aide staying here now? Yes, my lord. So this is where the eight. They have their little mats. Yes. You can see the mats here. And then the eight girls are staying here now. You can just yes. film around. The sisters will come to aspire with us. Okay. Or yes, visitors there. that comes around. The important ones go upstairs. Mm. Yes. This is where they come to Okay. And they have the mosquito nets. Yes. So the mosquitoes the will not be their friends in the evening. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Good. And then we go into the classroom. Yeah. And then we have the classroom. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is where we we have our classes. We do our studies during yeah. the day. Mm -hmm. So. And Father comes, and Father Samuel comes and teaches the classes, uh, two or three classes each day. Yes. Yeah. And then Father Samuel also says Mass at four chapels on each Sunday. On each Sunday. So one here, and then another one two hours away, another one two hours from there, yes. another one same, two hours, right? Yes, my Lord. And, uh, and so and then he comes back uh, the next... The week. next week. Next week. Yes, he stays yeah. the week with the people there, and then comes back the next week and have one week with us. Then after the Sunday mass here with us, he goes there. Mm -hmm. He stays one week with them. After the Sunday mass there, he comes here. Right, yeah. Right. And then and then you have the classes every day when he is here. Yes. Yeah. And then they also have classes for the uh, there's about eight well right now there's six of you here right now, right? Mm -hmm. Well, five, six, yeah, the one. Yes, five for, six of us. Five plus the, the helper. Yes. Right, and then, uh, and she lives here also, right? Yes, she does. Yes, okay, very good. And then after those six of them are here, then eight are visiting right now for a potential stay. And this, this uh, property is actually very good. It's close to the town, and it is, uh, they're able to grow much uh, uh, vegetables on it. And uh, right now we're trying to, we can come over here, sister. You can do your begging, sister. You can come over this way. And then, uh, so then, sister and Mother Samuel are begging for some help. So we need uh, 12 million. 12 million naira to buy this property. And 12 million naira is approximately 25,000 American dollars. And uh, the, this property they were renting, they were saving up close to $1,000 a year to be able to try to buy the property over time because the property is worth well over the $25,000 or the 12 million naira but the owner is given a little less price because of the sisters but he says that he cannot wait too long you say that by October end of October he says he will have to sell it to someone who wants to pay 13 or 14 million Naira cash. So someone's going to give twenty six or twenty seven thousand dollars cash in October to buy the property because it's a good, valuable property. There's a resort just across the street. The market is only fifteen minutes from here, and yet it's very quiet, very peaceful, and there's place to grow things, and you can fit many people here. And also, there's room to grow and to expand. And it's very close to Father Samuel, uh, where he is staying, and the young boys for the seminary so that he can come here and take care of them very easily. So this is a good property. And uh, so we're looking for the vote donations to within, it's now the end of August, so we really have one and a half months to try to raise $25,000 or 12 million naira. Otherwise, the owner is going to sell this property to some other owner. And of course, you can see after one year, the sisters put a lot of work into the they already have, have over 300 chickens. It's very difficult to get the chicken business going. And if they were to have to sell all the chickens to get started again, it would be very, extremely difficult. You know, because once, and then also they're even beginning to go to turkeys. Turkeys are more expensive. So what's good about turkeys is that they can sell the turkeys to those that can afford more and they can be raised greater funds. Because once the sisters are already heading towards being self-sufficient, to be able to survive off selling the chickens and to eat their food and take care of the sisters that come because they must feed the people that come. 
so it's very good for maintenance, but the problem is that the time to be able to keep the property has come to an end. So, so that sister, you can uh, ask for the help uh, to raise the funds somehow miraculously in the next month and a half to be able to buy this property and then be able to really develop the traditional sisters uh, here in Nigeria. There are apostolate. Well, tell them what your apostolate plans to be, sister. We think a little briefly about your order. Okay. We are sisters of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and Immaculate Heart of Mary. We are sisters who want to keep the tradition. So, so we have young ladies who are interested in tradition, not just in tradition but religious. So our uh, apostolates, we intend to go into orphanage to take care of orphans and um, some children that are giving birth to out of wedlock and the parents don't need them. We could bring them in, house them, take care of them and teach them the faith and bring them up in the love and service of God and also in the faith. Then we also intend to take care of old people, the aged parents. Most of uh, the children in this place they go out looking for a white collar job and they abandon their parents at home with no one to take care of them. Sometimes they get sick and no one takes care of them. So we intend to bring them in and accompany them in their old age and prepare them to die well and at least go to meet God at the end of time when finally God calls them. So that is, these are the little apostolate we intend to go into and with any other one, providence, bring to us. Very good, and so then, uh, so it's been a fruitful visit here to Otuko. 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 And that, uh, so that there we have uh, the, the four missions that Father Samuel has. Uh, he is doing well, and Father Francis, our priest of the Society of the Tenth Marian Corps, is also going to try to come and visit more often to be of help uh, here, because we have now many missions to attend to here in Nigeria, and many potential vocations. There's already eight or ten young men out there uh, who are interested in the priesthood, but there are also others throughout Nigeria, not just here, and uh, many have waited for a long time. Uh, in fact, even though this is my very first visit to Nigeria, I've been working with the Nigerians here remotely for the last six years, and uh, but unable to actually come and visit. So, but we have been working uh, with here for the last six years, and Father Francis uh, came here three years ago and has been developing the apostolate alongside the local priests. And one of the very good apostolates is here, uh, the, the convent uh, for the sisters and in fact I did not know that I would be here on August 22nd and uh, neither did sister know uh, but because of the circumstances it was able to be here for the taking of the habit the very first taking of the habit for the whole congregation and uh, so that's a very big day uh, and uh, Father Samuel prepared for it for a long time but they didn't know if they were going to be able to take care of it properly trying to pull together the four parishes all together. Uh, you know, very difficult, very expensive to pull them all together. But then I was able to come in at the last minute and we were able to have a beautiful ceremony yesterday and, uh, and then be able to visit, talk to the young men uh, about the faith, about the seminary, about the future, because our goal is always the same, to convert the whole world to Christ. And there is a great apostolate and a great potential uh, many vocations and conversions here in Nigeria and so uh, already of course there are many many Catholics here but you know the no shorto the liberalism is taking over the country and the people are wandering away from the faith and beginning to not have children you know the same problems that are everywhere in the world and that they're sort of beginning to take effect here but there is a fight to stop that decline and to rebuild the kingdom of Christ and so that's what we're working to do so then I mean, good sister so maybe sister is begging for the help of the Samuel and uh, so maybe someone can be generous and and uh, take out a loan 
and write a $25,000 check. We send it over here, and then they can buy this property, which they're about to lose after one year of work here. They're about to lose it in a month and a half. But hopefully, by some miraculous intervention, we can save the property, and then they can continue to work here. And the, this property is worth very much more than the $25,000 here in Nigeria. It's worth very much more than the $12 million. Uh, in fact, the owner is a Catholic who is actually giving them a, a break and a deal, but he doesn't want to wait too long because someone's going to offer him more cash. So he's only waiting for a certain period. So we beg for the help, or anyone is able to do that. I know we're always uh, in, in great need. We appreciate all the benefactors, but we're asking for help. And uh, for the sisters here with uh, Father Samuel Abba in Otuko. Otupo. Otupo, right? Otupo. Otupo. <laughs> One of these years. Otupo here in, in, uh, in Nigeria. So, and also, it was an adventure coming here because uh, normally it would only take 12 hours maximum to get here. Normally, 12 hours maximum. No, maximum. But I was coming. <laughs> so, it took 30 hours to do what is normally. <laughs> Father, not, Father Francis says, I've lived in Nigeria all my life. I've driven these roads, these same roads, always. And I have never seen this many trucks parked on the side of the road. And I've never seen this big of a traffic jam three different times. Many times the car is broken down, but never this many times in one day. And, uh, you know, so these are the normal experiences of the missions. Very good to be back in the missions. I very much miss uh, being in the missions. And even though this is my first time in Africa, I do very, very much feel like being at home. Because it's very similar to our places in India and also even in the Philippines. And, uh, and as you see, there's a, there's a great potential here and, there, and, there, and we need to, to help these souls. Very important. By helping others, we help ourselves. So in any case, we'll close it at that. And uh, there's a little tour of what you can see of uh, the convent of the, the Sacred Heart, the Immaculate Heart. Right, this is the Sacred Heart, Heart. And here, beginning in Nigeria. Right, that's good. Okay. You can close it. Thank you, sir.